what I, what I quickly want to talk about is you get, you see all this, like you're getting all this stimuli, you're getting all this, um, advertising, you're getting all this conditioning, uh, that is selling you on this idea that what you should be chasing in life is success is money, right? That like, that's where it's at. That like the good stuff in life is when you're balling out on Instagram and you're rolling around in Lamborghinis and you're, uh, you know, you're iced out of control. Like my two fingers are right. I have a giant necklace, but like that, um, that's kind of, uh, what is sold, right? The, this, this, it's a much more pop success is a much more popular game, but actually less fulfilling game than having fun. And so what I advocate for, you know, uh, a lot of you are smart marketer subscribers. You follow the blog, you follow some of the stuff I do with my wife, Carrie, um, is that really, you kind of want to optimize your life around whatever it is that brings you pleasure. So it's, you end up with a much better life if you're focused on having a good time, yeah, maybe that, maybe having a good time for you also includes some production cycle that makes you money. That's cool. You got to pay your bills. You got to eat. Maybe that's part of how you have a good time. But if that's all your agenda is, if that's all you're focused on, what you're going to find is that actually money is, is quite hollow, right? Money has no intrinsic value. Money is something that we trade for things that we think are valuable. You can't take a dollar bill, rip it in half and have coins fall out. There's no value to this paper, right? It's something that we trade for things we, things we think are valuable. And you see this a lot. I see this all the time, right? Like I see a lot of people in my position with the golden handcuffs, right? CEOs of companies doing tens of million dollars a, a per year, but they're overworked. They're underworked out. They're, don't, they're not feeling good in their body. They don't have a lot of time and energy for their intimate relationships, their personal relationships. And ultimately, like, that's not a fun way to live, right? So um, let's, like, reframe this conversation when we're talking about wealth creation, when we're talking about success. Let's take a larger view and include actually like, what does success really mean? Is it just balling out on Instagram with the Lamborghini? First of all, I didn't want a Lamborghini. They come in like M&M colors, all right? So all you people with the Lamborghinis that are like orange and green and stuff, you can't try. I can't, I, I don't want that much attention, all right? I want to blend in a little bit more than the, uh, than the orange Lamborghini blends in. But my point here is that a lot of people that I know with money uh, have less than uh, full, um, have less than fulfilled relationships because they've put a lot of attention. First of all, yeah, I'm not trying to uh, uh, hate on you if you have a Lambo, right? Different strokes for different folks. Someone, someone's in the comments here being like, <laughs> talking about how I'm um, hating on Lamborghinis. I'm not. Look, do what you do, whatever is pleasurable for you. By the way, Instagram, you can only see my face. We got a whole rig going on here. I don't know how to zoom in on that there. You can see a little bit of the behind the scenes. I'll figure out how to get you the actual screen here in a minute. Um, I'm not hating on having money. I, obviously, I think wealth creation is a fun game to play. I think it's a, um, a uh, you know, I think it's a, um, a good part of life. It's an interesting part of life. It's something that you're going to have to confront, right? And it's actually one of the areas of life that most people are victimized. And we're going to talk about this in just a second, but I want to remind you um, that you can ask questions in the comments. You can, um, I'm going to get into some content around Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, around how to optimize your business for better performance. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the stuff that I have coming up. We'll talk about some of my apps and things like that. If you have specific questions that you want to hit me with. I can see there's a lot of action on Instagram. What up Instagram? I've never done Instagram lives. So I don't know. I'm, I'm like, uh, for those of you on Facebook, I'm over here. You can't see it. You can go to Instagram, uh, forward slash Ezra Firestone, follow me. And then you can see this, uh, in the Instagram live. Uh, but we're going to get into, um, a lot of things. I want to remind you that if you do comment on the post, I will answer your questions. Uh, if you comment on Instagram, I do see those. I can see there's a lot of hearts going on. Thank you for the love. Uh, oh, there you go. Look at that. Yeah. So you can see a little bit of behind the scenes there. Um, so what we were talking about was like, before we get into the actual hardcore content uh, that I want to cover today, that most people are victimized by a few different areas in their life, right? There's time, right? Everyone is afraid uh, that they don't have enough time, that they're getting older, they're, they're um, uh, freaked out 
at the idea that someday they're going to die. So time is one where everyone is really uh, kind of freaked out around that subject. That's su- when you confront time and how much time you have for any given thing in your life, that's a, that's a subject that people are freaked out about. Sex, that's another subject people are really freaked out about, really victimized by. They have a lot going on uh, on that. Money. Money is an area where everyone, it's okay to lose about money. It's okay to be like, oh man, I'm super broke, can't do this. Like you can totally go up to someone, anyone you know, and you can talk to them about something that's bad. Oh, the weather sucks or uh, I'm, you know, this or this bad thing happened. You can't just walk up to a stranger and be like, hey, I'm having a wonderful day. Things are wonderful. Things are great. Like it's not as accepted to just start talking about how wonderful things are in your life, right? (laughs) And you can't, like, by the way, you can't call into work and say, hey guys, it's a beautiful sunny day. I watched the sunrise this morning and it's so beautiful. I'm going to take the day off, but you can say, hey, I'm sick or something bad happened. So it's a pain oriented society, which is a whole other point, which we'll get into later. But the point is that most people are victimized in some way by money, right? They don't have enough of it. Uh, They're in a lot. I think seven out of 10 people are in debt or something like that. So money is one of these areas where, um, people struggle. And I think it's interesting to talk about money and talk about uh, your relationship to money and how you look at money and why, what you spend your money on and why you spend money on the things you spend money on, right? Like another thing, one of my, my, one of my viewpoints is that people's big problem in life is that they believe that they're flawed, right? Because everything that, that you're sold from like the time you're born is about how wrong you are. You're too fat, you're not the right color, you're not tall enough, you stink, you need to buy deodorant. Uh, You know, it's all you're broken and I can fix you. And here's all the ways you're broken. And I've got a solution to that, which is something that I can sell you. Your cell phone's killing you. Quick, stick this thing on the back of it so it won't kill you anymore, right? It's all like scare tactics. It's all you're broken, I'll fix you. And that's how things are sold. And you'll notice if you engage with any of my businesses that I actually take the opposite approach, right? I'm attempting to sell things, not from the viewpoint of you're broken and I'll fix you, but from the viewpoint of, Hey, here's a, uh, you know, I'll tell you my business model actually in a second. But the point that we were getting into was that money is a place that people lose in their life. And so we're going to talk a little bit about, um, how to make a little, (laughs) how to make more money because that's something that you're going to want to do if you have an e-commerce business. So the, the actual content today is related to how to optimize your sales. If you're an e-commerce business, that said, I will answer some of your questions. 